In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use GIMP to make text that looks like it's made out of silver and turquoise. Let's start by creating a new project. So go to the File menu and select New. Set the width to 1280 pixels and the height to 720 pixels. Now let's add the text. So click on the text tool, then click right here to set the font and select a bold script font. I'm going to use script MT bold. Then set the text size to 400. Now click in the canvas area and type your text. Then to center the text, click on the alignment tool. Then click on the text and now click this button and this button. Now the text is aligned horizontally and vertically. Now we're going to resize the text layer so it will be the same size as the background layer. So right click on the text layer and select layer to image size. And now we need to select the outline of the text. So right click on the text layer and select alpha to selection. We will need this selection later, so we are going to save it. To do that, click on the Select menu and select Save to Channel. You can see here on the right, under the Channels tab, that we have our selection right here. Now let's make our text look silver and shiny. So click on the Layers tab and make sure that the text layer is selected. And then from the Filters menu, select Alpha to Logo, and then Chrome. Change the offset value to 20, and then click on the OK button. Now we're going to combine the top two layers, so right-click on the top layer, and select Merge Down. Now let's add the turquoise to the text, and to do that, we need to start by retrieving the selection that we saved earlier. So click on the Channels tab, then click on the selection to select it, and then click on this red button. Now you can see that the outline of our original text is selected. Now click on the Layers tab. We're going to add a new layer, so click on this button. Make sure Transparency is selected, and click OK. Next, we're going to shrink the selection by 10 pixels. So from the Select menu, select Shrink. Set this value to 10 pixels and click OK. Make sure that the top layer is selected, and now let's fill in the selected area with a black color. So click on the Bucket Fill tool, make sure that the foreground color is set to black, Come down here and click next to Fill Whole Selection. And then click inside of the selected area. Now we're going to shrink the selection again. So from the Select menu, select Shrink. This time, set the value to 3 pixels and click OK. And now we're going to fill in the selected area with a pattern. So click on the Bucket Fill tool and set the Fill Type to Pattern Fill. Click on this button to set the pattern. If you click on this button, then the names of the patterns will be displayed. Scroll through the list and find Dried Mud 100 by 100 and then click on it. Now click on the selected area to fill it in with the pattern. Now let's change the color of the pattern. So from the Colors menu, select Hue Saturation. Set the Hue to 160. Set the Lightness to minus 40. And set the Saturation to 100. Then click OK. And we're also going to increase the contrast a little. So from the Colors menu, select Brightness Contrast. Increase the contrast to 20 and click OK. You'll notice now that our turquoise looks flat, so we're going to add a shadow to the right side of it to give it some depth. 
So click here to add a new layer. Make sure transparency is selected and click OK. Then make sure that this new layer is on top and that it is selected. Next, click on the bucket fill tool and make sure that the foreground color is set to black. Set the fill type to FG Color Fill. Then click inside the selected area to fill it in with black. To make this look like a shadow, we need to blur it. So first turn off the selection by going to the Select menu and select None. And then from the Filters menu, select Blur and then Gaussian Blur. Set the horizontal and vertical blur value to 10 pixels and then click OK. Now click on the Move tool. Then center your cursor over the black area, press the mouse button, and drag the shadow to the right. Now we need to trim the edges of the shadow. So right click on the layer with the turquoise and select Alpha to Selection. Then invert the selection by going to the Select menu and select Invert. Now click on the top layer to select it. Then from the Edit menu, select Clear. Now we can reduce the darkness of the shadow by reducing its opacity. So set the opacity to about 75. Next, turn off the selection by going to the Select menu and select None. Now let's add a background. So click on the bottom layer to select it. Then click on the Bucket Fill tool. We want to set the foreground color to white and we can do that by clicking this double arrow button which will swap the foreground and background colors. Then click in the background area to fill it in with white. Now go to the Filters menu and select Render and then Line Nova. Make sure the number of lines is set to 200 and then click OK. This operation will take a while to complete since we're adding 200 lines. Next we're going to add a motion blur. So start by clicking on the bottom layer to select it. Then from the filters menu, select blur and then motion blur. Then for the blur type, select zoom and make sure Blur Outward is selected, and then change the X value to 320 pixels and the Y value to 180 pixels. Then come down here and set the length to 100. Now press OK. This step takes about 30 seconds to run on my computer, so I'm going to pause the video until it's done. The motion blur is finished running and now we have our finished image. Well that concludes this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment.